Nothing screams winter like a good old-fashioned backyard cooking adventure. Chef Randy is in his backyard right now, ready to cook it up for us. So he's going to be making a delicious and hearty European goulash. And Chef, I have to ask you this. Why goulash? I've had it for the first time a couple years ago in Hungary. It was amazing. Why do you think this is the perfect winter meal, outdoor winter meal? Number one, Tracy, that it's hearty. You know, I think in the winter time we need heavy stuff that sticks to us. It's something that takes a long time to make, so you can have a fire going and put it on the fire. And the last and best thing about it, there's a lot of bills coming in December, so January <laughs> gets cold. This is cheap and cheerful. That was like almost the most important point right there. I love that. Okay, so how do we start with our goulash? What do we need to uh, get started on it? First things first, I'm going to tell you straight up, we're making a segadine goulash, which is made with pork and not with beef. So this comes from the pork shoulder and is about 20 bucks, but this was half, so 10, and this will make four portions easily. So you can do the math on that. It's like 250 a portion. Okay. So all we do is cube it up, and then we're going to hit it with some salt and some pepper. We got some aromatics with some onions and some garlic here. And we're going super rustic today, Trace, because we're doing this all outside in our Dutch oven. So once we get everything inside, you're gonna get your fingers inside. You could use oil, but I've got some bacon fat here. You know those Sunday mornings when Leo's making you breakfast? Save that <laughs> fat. And you're just gonna massage all this in there, right? Oh my you can gosh. get the kids in there. This is what they're gonna like doing. That's a very luxurious massage right there. That's a bacon fat massage. <laughs> I'm ordering that next time I'm at the spa. Looks good. <laughs> but already, like I was just saying to Jeff, it's very romantic out here. And a massage <laughs> like that with bacon fat, that gets even more romantic. You know what I mean? <laughs> the snow is falling. We got the we got the fire burn and everything's very romantic out here. We just need a couple, a glass of wine. That's right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop that into a Dutch oven and we're just gonna caramelize it up until we start to get a little bit of color like that. And this doesn't take long, like maybe 10 minutes, depending on what your fire looks like, but you see you're getting the nice flavors in the bottom. You got the sizzle, oh, it's starting to stick a bit. That's exactly what we're after. So then what we're to do, this is where the goulash part comes in, Trace. Do you know what that is? Can you see that? Is it paprika? Whoa, bing, 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 bing. Yes, got it and we go super heavy, super heavy, like three tablespoons, right? And you're just gonna toast that up for about a minute or so, you're gonna stir that around and just get those aromatics kind of flying a little bit. And because it's the beauty of TV, we're only gonna toast it for 10 seconds and I'll have to explain to Catherine why it doesn't taste nearly as toasted as it should. <laughs> but we're gonna jump right to the next step. I'm just wondering, <laughs> did you use uh, smoked so, paprika for that, Chef? Is it regular paprika? Which one do you prefer? No, 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 no. Spanish paprika, just regular Spanish paprika. The smoke stuff, we're going to get the smoke naturally from the oven. I like to control it. I find the smoke stuff can be a little overpowering, especially when you're using a large amount like this. Fair. So then we go beef or chicken stock, just enough to top. And here is the secret ingredient, Tracy. I don't expect you to get this one, but do you have a guess? I don't know what that is. Is it mushy or is it more, like what, what's the texture there? <laughs> is it sauerkraut? Mm, it's very crowdy. It's sauerkraut. It's sauerkraut, <laughs> look at that. It's so crowdy. So the sauerkraut, believe it or not, it's very crowdy. <laughs> Juice and all, we chop it up really fine and we drop it up right inside. This is gonna, the enzymes in the, in the fermented sauerkraut are gonna help break down these large pieces of meat. It's gonna add like this crazy base layer flavor. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's magical because it's very little effort and maximum flavor. Beautiful. Okay, so that's doing the work. And now you're gonna throw in, what is that, a bay leaf there? We got a bay leaf, look at you going, and little caraway seeds. Nice. So those go in. And then one last thing, Trace, we need some goodness in there. What's that? You know, this is Ice like, cream. this is an organic, <laughs> <laughs> heavy fat. <laughs> It could be out here. We could. We, it might turn into ice cream if we keep it out a little bit longer. It's sour cream, but it's oh about 25 minutes away from ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sour cream so is gonna now, do it. That oh, is awesome. Oh, this is this is romantic now, right? <laughs> Light a candle. Beautiful. The lid goes on, 
and then we go right back on the wood oven. Now, the beautiful thing is we just toss it in there. And it's going to reduce. It's going to do its thing. You can open the lid a little bit and then let the smoke kind of get in and char it and let it reduce down and put the lid back on. you got to keep an eye on it, and it's going to take about three beers. Okay. You've timed it, which is so good. So exactly three beers later, you know that the recipe it's good. It's done. It's good. So now we've got our second one after three beers. We've got this glorious pot and it's just, Ooh. oh my Lord, would you look at that. That is bubbly goodness right there. We have a bread dumpling here. So oh. a bread dumpling is a bread, but it's been steamed. It's light, it's flaky, it's gorgeous, and it doesn't take anything. It's just, its job is to do nothing but absorb all that sauerkraut, demi-glaze, sour cream goodness. Nice. And we take a large ladle like this. Oh my God. As soon as you said oh bread. Oh my. I was like, okay. Oh my the God, meal is, The meal is complete. You don't need anything green on there. Okay, put fine, if you insist. A little bit of insist. parsley. Yeah. You put a little bit of parsley. I mean, you don't really, but it's TV, it's City Line. I had to show up with a bit of parsley, you know? <laughs> but that is it. And this bread is gonna melt. The chunks of pork are just gonna melt with the smoke, the bacon, oh, the kraut, so wow. good. Randy, that looks so delicious. Go inside and give it to Catherine right away before it freezes. Thank you for that. You're going to find uh, the Thanks, recipe Jerry. for this beautiful hearty goulash on CityLine.tv.